The lion's world is, without any doubt, one of the most violent of all land carnivores. This cats need to fight very hard in life sometimes to reach their goal, in a world where the weak get wiped out pretty quickly. Not all males live long enough to sire their own heirs, and those who did are lucky and incredibly tough at the same time. Today, let's take a look at some who managed to left their mark on the land they once ruled forever. This young lion's name is Makabwa. He's currently a nomadic male who came from the Namiri Plain in the well on those Serengeti area. Right now he's on the hardest step each male lion's had to pass through to maybe one day being in charge of their own prides. But he surely had some genetics advantages, considering how great were his predecessors. And, to better understand, this we have to go back several years ago, way before Makabwa, and even his father's birth. For this first part, let's go back almost two decades ago, when a lion who will later be named Sibo was just born. Sibo had surely had a peaceful life as a cub in his natal pride before getting out dead from it probably around 2008, and then becoming a nomad before teaming up with a supposed unknown male, who will later be named Hiltor. Later in 2009, both managed to take over the Jua Kali Lion Pry, sired a few cubs there and becoming the pride's leaders. Despite their pretty much young ages, both males were really impressive, especially Sibo who was also nicknamed Bob Marley. He was a gigantic long mane king. Everything went well for the two males, and their prides until mid-2009, when a big threat appeared on a form of an invading coalition of four males. This group of four was known as the Killers Coalition. They were nomads searching for their own territory, and when they stumbled upon the Juakali Pride's territory only protected by two males, they decide to go for a takeover. At two against for despite their string, Sibo and Hiltor had almost no chance to protect their kingdom, but they weren't done at trying so they stood for as long as possible despite the very huge risk. The situation stayed like this until the inevitable happened. On the 17th of August 2009, Three of her killers met the great sea boy during one of their invasions, and a terrible battle took place soon after. It's believed that Hiltor was there with sea boy, but retreat when the killers charge and on the other hand it's said that he wasn't even there and was even injured. Whenever the case, Sibo was left alone against three males determined to end him right there, but the unthinkable happened. Despite this situation, who would have ended tragically for any other lion, Sibo managed to fight back against all three big killers, 
and end up like the Bila Shaka King Baba Yao, badly wounded but alive. Satisfied with their victory, the killers moved on probably sir that Zibo will die sooner or later from its wounds, but the big fighters somehow not broken got up and left the scene before joining up with his partner Hiltor. Together again, both males decide to leave their territory and pride to the killers and then moved to the east. Upon arriving there, the two lions managed to take over to Pride's No, as the Eastern Semba and famous Vumbi Prides. Although their new territory wasn't really a paradise of food and water, the two males hold a strong grip over their new lands and became the stars the National Geographic Documentary Lion Gang. Everything went well for this to legends. They had sired many offsprings and were successful at defending their territory during some time. But nothing lasts for long in the wild and later around 2012, their old enemies return. The fur killers were back again and despite the unusual power Sebo had, it wasn't sir this time. If he will get lucky even if its partner stood with him, they were still outnumbered. But fortunately the four invaders didn't attack anyone in their path. One night while heading toward the Vumbi Pride they got distracted by an unknown lioness and they probably thought that it wasn't worth the fight for an area like this. After that Sibo and Hiltor remained kings of their domains and icons of strength, tenacity, and bravery for the next six years. It's surely old age that took both of this legend's life. The mighty Sibo died on June 2018 at the age of 14 and his lifelong partner Hiltor vanished a few months later. Sea Boy is now remembered as an absolute legend of the Serengeti for his power and resilience who paid off at the end because he was able to sire many cubs and protect them till their independence and between the heirs. One will also became the absolute king and celebrity of the Namiri Plain and a legend himself, but this is for the next part. Rest in power Serengeti legends.